the Navy and the Marine Corps as a, as a sea service, uh, we operate at sea and when we do so, it's, it's imperative that we're able to fix an aircraft as quickly as we can and have those assets available. The uh, fleet, when they deploy worldwide, uh, needs to have a repair capability for their avionics. ECAS is the Electronic Consolidated Automated Support System. Essentially, it's a piece of automatic test equipment that when combined with a test program set can take avionics from today's naval aircraft and return them to the aircraft and ready for install condition. ECAS is able to test everything from your chaff dispensers to radar transmitters to uh, electronic warfare systems and basically keep all of the Navy's aircraft uh, mission ready. The real benefits are that it does that and it does it in a standardized way across the fleet. It's a continuation of, of the cost savings that we realized with CAS and now we're replacing CAS with ECAS because as anything with a little bit of age uh, things get a little bit harder to keep on repairing and uh, being able to get uh, repair parts. CAS was an automated support system. It was the original system going from a uh, consolidated system to what we have now. It's an easier system to fix. It's a faster system, which means that if it allows us to get gear out to the, the squadrons faster. If you can imagine being in the middle of the ocean, your supply line might be as long as 12,000 miles. It's very difficult to uh, simply fly out replacement parts or uh, replacement uh, avionics systems for the aircraft. So having that immediate capability on hand uh, allows for greater performance of, of the mission. The benefit of ECAS to the sailor is using more modern equipment. It's going to help that CAS technician troubleshoot and diagnose avionics gear a lot more effectively. The system has uh, additional capabilities associated with it too, particularly in the RF area. It's extended those capabilities to cover new tests that it would have to run for the Joint Strike Fighter, the E-2D, and other aircraft in the future. ECAS has a lot of extended capabilities that CAS didn't have. A big consideration for us in the design of the system was to make it easier for our sailors and Marines that operate the system uh, to utilize that so they're spending more time on their primary mission which is repairing uh, the avionics and less time repairing the support equipment to repair the avionics. I think what I'm most excited about for the future is seeing them actually go on the, on the boats and better troubleshooting uh, for those Marines that are on the boat. We ensure that what is aboard the naval aircraft is uh, ready for use, it's certified to meet its requirements, which enable our sailors and Marines, our pilots, to uh, uh, complete their missions successfully. We're all about focused on the warfighter, what he needs to be successful so that you know, when the president issues an order for the Navy to go and do something and accomplish a mission, their equipment is working to the best it can possibly work the way it was designed to. They're able to have a mission that's successful and that warfighter is able to come back home safely.